Hey guys, this is Karthik Ramne here again. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can set up the autoresponder for each one of your campaigns. Once you have all the campaigns uh, created or once you have your campaign created, you can come to the dashboard. You can uh, click on autoresponder. Uh, at the start of the series, you, you would have seen that I've integrated my GoToWebinar and autoresponder. So um, if I want to send these leads to a webinar as well, I come here and select go to webinar option and I have all of these uh, webinars which are upcoming webinars in my go to webinar account which is displayed here. I can select uh, a webinar that's happening and I can also sell, uh, I also did uh, integrations with uh, Aweber. So I'm going to select Aweber in the API integration and uh, once I select, what happens is all my list, if you do an API integration, you don't have to put in any HTML code. All the list within that particular autoresponder gets available in a drop down. So uh, I have all of these lists. I have a bigger, I have lo loads and loads of lists in Aweber. And you can select which list you want these campaigns to go. So uh, if I want these campaigns to go in fan page list builder bonus, I just hit on save. So all the list being generated out of this campaign goes to the corresponding good webinar account and uh, the corresponding autoresponder let's say if your uh, autoresponder doesn't have api integrations what do you do we have all of these options wherein you can put in the html code from your autoresponder if your autoresponder is listed here choose one of these options if your autoresponder is not listed here click on others and uh, put in your form code also the first name and uh, we try to based on the form code we automatically try to get these details if those details doesn't get pulled up automatically uh, you can uh, select the form name form name once you put in the form name you can just select this uh, the field name of email the first name or whatever fields that you have in case uh, uh, your autoresponder doesn't uh, secure HTTPS because when you have these campaigns within Facebook your autoresponder necessarily needs to support HTTPS but don't worry if it doesn't support if your code doesn't have HTTPS just enable this uh, checkbox and we're gonna uh, send this uh, the form details in a secure way so you can install these campaigns within your Facebook as well also uh, we have when you come here and uh, click on API integrations you have all the autoresponders if you have a get response you just have to put in your get response key MailChimp again your MailChimp API key send reach and if you infusion soft so these are the major autoresponders that supports API integrations and don't worry if you don't have one you just uh, come to the dashboard click on autoresponder and uh, select your uh, autoresponder select others and uh, put in your code so it's as simple if at all you need any support during any time don't hesitate please raise a ticket and we are here to help you thank you so much